Disclaimer, the content you are about to watch contains a slight trace of randomness, two ounces of olive oil, and a voice impression so bad you wish you didn't bring headphones to this experience. Your discretion is, is probably a bias, but you probably don't need to, I don't care. I do not expect this to be taken seriously. I expect it to be taken as like a little bit of a jokey joke, like, I don't know, but all I know is it, it shouldn't be taken that seriously. <laughs> All, all I'm trying to do is, like, state my opinion and, you know, just let you be filled in on whatever the heck this is about. What is this about? I don't even know. I know, though, but I don't know. I know, but I don't. Here's a couple of reasons why I don't think this will be taken seriously. One, I'm behind my window in my house. And two, my fan isn't on. And when my fan isn't on, I'm usually not serious. Although, I'll turn it on now. There we go. Now this is sure to be taken seriously. So yeah, anyways, let's talk about Flippity Dip. So if you don't know, yesterday, as of the day this video was being recorded, was April 1st. If you don't know, people really like to make jokes on that day. Because it's very funny, and very comical. Well, for some people anyways. And in some cases anyways, so yeah. Anyways, one of the people who participated in this was Vibeform. If you don't know Vibeform, why the hell are you watching my channel? Anyways, if you don't know Vibeform in actualness, it's Vibeform is the guy that made that 800 subscribers special that I, that I reacted to. He also made he, the <laughs> direct because he was formerly. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, that should give you a bit of context as to who this guy is. So yeah, anyways, so Vibeform decided to take part in the whole April Fool's festivities with their Twitter account, Vibeform Tweets. So, on this day, April 1st, they rebranded the, the account to Gizmo on Twitter. If you don't know, Gizmo is one of their OCs and also part, is the co-host of um, MLH, which is their World of History type series it's, that is released monthly. That's why it's called well, Monthly Rogo Histories. But, but of course, it won't be called Monthly Rogo Histories anymore because he is not he is fine for him. So yeah, anyways. And so yeah, he rebranded the account and I got these screenshots before he rebranded it back. Back into Vibeform Tweets. Spoiler alert! He rebranded back because, you know, it's April Fools. April Fools doesn't really last that long in terms of days. So yeah, anyways. So yeah, this was the account's layout at the time of the prank. As you can see, it is, it is Gizmo now. And, and on that day, he released a tweet. So now, I am going to voice act that tweet he, in, in a sort of gizmo impression. Because y'all probably haven't heard this voice before if you haven't watched Vibeform. Which I assume most of you do. But if you don't, I'll give you the best impression of what to expect. Or maybe not the best, because I don't know. I forgot. Plus E. Plus yes. I forgot to mention the fourth reason why I shouldn't be taken seriously th th for this is because I'm I'm recording this on an iPhone. <laughs> and that should give you a sign as to how serious I am. So, so yeah, I'm doing this so that I can read the tweet. <laughs> so yeah, anyways. So anyways, when this prank started at about 9.01 a.m. Eastern and on April 1st, 2023, the tweet from Gizmo read, Yo, what's up guys? Gizmo here. I have taken over Viper's account and I've owned it. 
Now, you might see some cool stuff from me in the future, so make sure to follow me if you can. Gizmo, the new owner of this account. <laughs> that impression sucks. <laughs> That's another reason why I shouldn't be taken seriously, because I cannot do impressions. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's exactly how the tweet was written by, by Gizmo, uh, air quotes, Gizmo, because, because if you don't know, Gizmo doesn't exist. So yeah, anyways, that was the tweet, and now we can get back to my window. So yeah, anyways, as I just stated, that tweet from Gizmo was at 9.01 a.m., Gizmo then proceeded to do nothing for the next 23 hours. And by, and by the time the next tweet was sent, Vibeform was already back in ownership of the account. So yeah, anyways, I made a chart to display the percentage of people who take over and own a thing and then don't give it back to their previous owner without doing anything. As you can see, the percentage is very high because nobody... Nobody doesn't do a thing with their, with their properties. But in the case of Gizmo, he actually did one thing with his property. Here's a percentage I made for that occasion. The percentage is still very high. This is clearly wrong. He should have, he should have been wet cook a, a couple of more times before the prank was over. And and I'm about to list a couple of reasons why. One, and he only made one tweet. It's, I w when you go into an April Fool's prank, you usually like do as much as possible to try and fool people. Like, like sometimes you go all out. Yeah. So, anyways, for this one, Gizmo didn't really get anything. He only got one tweet. Two, he had 24 hours to do something else. It really took you like 24 hours and you couldn't even do one thing. Nothing was re retweeted, nothing was liked, nothing was replied to, nothing. The very next thing that happened was Vibeform immediately taking over the account after, Vibe, after Gizmo made that tweet. So yeah. So yeah, that's the second reason why. The third reason why is that Gizmo needs to cook. We need to let Gizmo cook at all costs. It doesn't matter if it, it, will, it will continue glo global. It, it doesn't matter if it will con continue craft singles. It doesn't matter if it continues anything. All I ask is to let him cook. <laughs> so yeah. Hashtag Let Gizmo Cook 2023. <laughs> so yeah, that's my analysis on this. It's my analysis is that you should he should be let cooked. Now, how can we let him cook? One, give him more things to cook. Like at least give him more tweets. It's at least let him re retweet some stuff, and then maybe just maybe. That'll satisfy us enough to where our gizmo cooking of obsession goes away. <laughs> so yeah. Two, give him his own account. I I know this probably isn't isn't very good for you because you own at least three Twitter accounts. But you can own at least five. Boom. Shocker. Wow, I did not know that. You can own Five Twitter accounts? Whoa! Well, yeah, you can own five at once. And I know all of your accounts are probably on the same computer. I will not boast your computer, as I believe it is an okay computer. And plus, I don't even have a computer here, so I cannot legally roast you for something that I don't have. So... So yeah, anyways, anyways, this can be four. Now, I, I, I understand it if you don't want to make four. That is okay. I'm not sure what else to do. 
that's all all I got for discussion. But yeah, I think he should be what cook when I'm cook. That's why hashtag what gizmo cook twenty twenty three. I I need you to send that onto every single one of your friends' computers. Send that on Twitter, Facebook, MySpace, whatever the heck proceeds MySpace, YouTube, Twitch, uh, Space Hey. <laughs> I don't know. Mastodon. <laughs> Just send it, whatever. I don't really care at this point. I can't really see anything. I don't know. Co host. Co host. I don't know. Just. Just like. Just. Just that we spread it. <laughs> okay. In all seriousness, you don't really have to do this. You can do this if you want to. I'll I'll be fine if Gizmo doesn't cook again. I'm I'm not saying he shouldn't. He definitely should. But if if he didn't, then that would be fine. So yeah. Anyways, that's my stance on Vibe Forms April Fool's prank. I hope you enjoyed this episode and continue the episode into more episodes. So yeah. Anyways, I am going to go shoot a basketball. I made it. I actually made the shots. <laughs> Alright, that's the end of the video. This has been Donald here, and I'll see you next time.